Full power to the shields, Mr. Scott. Give them all we got, son. Channel is open, Mr. Scott, and you are tied in. This is Lieutenant Commander Scott. The Enterprise takes no orders except those of Captain Kirk. And we will stay right here until he returns. And if you make any attempt to board or commandeer the Enterprise, it will be blown to bits along with as many of you as we can take with us. Full power, Mr. Scott. The relays will reject the overload, Mr. Spock. Then bypass the relays, go to manual control. Do that, we'll burn out the engines. I want full power, Mr. Scott. Aye, sir. All right, you lovelies. All together. There's so much disturbance that any attempt to get at the flow would rupture the magnetic field. You have eight minutes, 41 seconds. I know what time it is. I don't need a blooming cuckoo clock. Laddie, don't you think you should rephrase that? You're right. I should. I didn't mean to say that the Enterprise should be hauling garbage. I meant to say that it should be hauled away as garbage. <laughs> <laughs> You must be that Scott fellow that Kirk was talking to. I want to know what happened. It looks like we put the bag on you, doesn't it? I got rights! You got nothing. You mind your place, mister, or you'll... you'll be wearing concrete galoshes. I found this in a uh, gunner room. A uh, uh, gunner mirror at me. What is it? Well, it's, um... It's green. I gave them a very good home, sir. Where? I gave them to the Klingons, sir. Gave them to the Klingons? Aye, sir. Before they went into warp, I transported the whole kit and caboodle into the air engine room, where there'll be no trouble at all. <laughs> 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 